All right, hello out there. Just wanted to do a, um, well, I was about to say real quick. Every single time I say real quick, it's never real quick. I, I ramble talk. Do, 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 anyways, though, do the side shuffle. Do the side shuffle. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Anyways, first off, sorry this is being recorded in a uh, windowed mode. I'm, I was having some issues trying to capture this game in full screen. I was starting, this is a uh, Planet Nomads. Boy, this is like amateur hour. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. This is Planet Nomads. Pretty cool game. I'm looking forward to uh, covering it more. But, you know, like before I can really show a game on, <laughs> on my channel, I have to take the time to figure out a profile for it. So I started fiddling around. And one thing, like, um, like when we go into this, the build mode, you know, you have all that stuff on the hotbar, so I'm probably going to need a touch menu. But you also use this jetpack a lot. And in games where I use the jetpack, when I use jump or jetpack a lot, I kind of like to do bumper jumper. So you can still look around. But I also like to use the bumpers as my modifiers for the touchpads. So it was kind of creating a little bit of a conundrum. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do for the profile, but in thinking about that, I kind of came across something that I hadn't really thought of before. So, you know, most games we have A is jump, or like whatever you put as jump. Well, don't forget, you have mode shifts. So, you know, it's like, I can't look around when I jump because I have to take my thumb off, we'll just make A a mode shift for the touchpad. So now <laughs> I'm holding A and that's a gyro. You know, like I'm looking around, I'm gonna jump and I need to move to the left. Oh, piece of cake, I have the gyro. So all I did was gyro and I have A button as the mouse. Now this is something important to remember. So this on the A button put the gyro to always on. So as long as A is being held, gyro is always on. This is something that I have been pushing and advocating more lately. Like in a first person shooter, like in uh, Arma and Argo, in the profiles I've done for that, you know, putting gyro always on, on the left trigger soft pull is also something that I've been starting to do a lot more, because it just gives you a little bit more fine control. This feels like something, like, <laughs> not a eureka moment, but something that, um, I just, I hadn't really thought of before, and now I'm starting to see lots of possibilities for that. Like, if, well, for instance, currently... So the limitation is you can only do one mode shift. So if I want to have A as the gyro, I have to have... You know, I can only choose... I can't do this one to be A plus left trigger. But I could do... I could do an action set. And in the action set gyro is always on and any of the buttons that you're holding on release press they go back to the default action set kind of like how I've done the uh, console style run so yeah then like any any button that you're holding you have uh, a gyro always on so yeah yeah I mean that's I'm rambling but I'm just sort of like getting a little excited to thinking about the possibilities of that just something, yeah, it's like, don't forget about the mode shift. The mode shifts can fill in the gaps of limitations to traditional controller things. Now, obviously, one solution is just don't use A for jump. Use the bumper, use the grips. Which, sure, you can. I just wanted to present this as an alternative if you still like holding on to the traditional muscle memory controller settings, 
you, you're you're not limited. You can tweak and adapt the controller to make it exactly how you need it. So yeah, that's um, <laughs> it, it feels really nice. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go over, you know, just a, a quick little tip, and you know, just um, as you dig in to the controller stuff. Opportunities keep opening up. If you start thinking creatively, you can do so much with this. So even that, where it's like you're limited by the jump on traditional games that you can't move, like how Mirror's Edge would put jump and Titanfall. Well, with the gyro, it, it's a non-issue. You can use the gyro. I mean, or obviously you can bind jump to something else. But if you want to use those face buttons, you're not limited. So, you know, keep thinking creatively about the bindings, and you'll be pretty impressed with what you can pull off. So, alright, that's all I got. Oh, my lighting's all screwed up. I'm getting some grain.